Hi, I'm Mike Moradian, one of the curators at the Honor Society Museum, and today I want to walk you through one of my favorite pieces of Honor Society history. Now, we all have come to see that the key plays an integral role in Honor Societies, but how did that come about and what does it mean? As I was curating the museum, I learned more and more about the subtle differences about how the key originated and how it became a symbol of Honor Society leadership and success. So I'm going to walk you through a piece of the history right now. And one of the key people who started the key was Phi Beta Kappa. Phi Beta Kappa is an honor society that started in 1776. And this is an example of one of their keys. And it's a beautiful gold piece that is usually dated with the member's name. Now, as this key, you look at the key, you may wonder why is there a key? and how did that become a symbol of honor societies. So it quickly became emulated and utilized by other honor societies. I'll show you an example of a Phi Kappa Phi key right here. And then it even became used by Phi Sigma. The certificate is presented to Autumn Diekman in 1953 from Alpha Gamma Sigma. And if you look in the middle, you can see again, there's the key. And so the key is a symbol that appears throughout the different societies again and again from the 18th century until today. And in my discovery, I was able to find a very interesting piece that helped me piece together the story, which was this daguerreotype or a tintype from the 19th century or the 1800s where a member was actually wearing the key on a chain. And in this photo, you can see that he's wearing it out of his coat pocket. And that really showed, you know, the usage of this uh, key. And as I went and researched more, it became clear that the key was used as on a pocket watch chain to actually wind pocket watches. And so, it hung on the chain like this and really became a status symbol. So the modern day example of a bumper sticker um, that says my students in an honor roll, that's what the Phi Kappa Phi key and all honor society keys served in the early days. And so you could wind the watch with this and let it hang from your pocket. In this example, there's actually a file clipper that the member had on it as well. And so you can see that it was really a multifunctional piece, or in some ways, maybe a predecessor to an iPhone. It had your time and had other fun functionality to it. And so it's really cool to see the history of the Honor Society key and what it represents today, because we don't have pocket watches, we don't use them in mainstream, is really just a symbol of the leadership, the community, and the success that a member the work that the member put in to achieve the success. And so it's really, really a fascinating piece to learn about how something from the 1700s still plays a role, has evolved, and is a part of our community today. So I hope you enjoyed this little piece of history with the Honor Society key and a glance into the past, and hopefully an understanding of where the future of Honor Societies and the key symbol will go. Thank you very much.